Sometimes I like to give my giant African land snails a bit of turtle vine as a treat. Once, after my snails were finished, I just rehoused them, left the empty pots in and basically forgot about it. There were three different creatures on the plant I bought. A slug, a small true spider and an isopod. One individual per species, at least that I saw. They were apparently fertilized. Or I think even the pathogenic isopods are a thing. Because they multiplied like crazy. When I wanted to put the container back into use as a snail enclosure, there were even many specimens right under the lid. Look at those spiders with their egg sacs. It seems almost like a semi-communal lifestyle. By the way, those silvery springtails that can be seen here sometimes have served me as a cleaner crew for many many years, if not over a decade already. I had dumped some used sponge cloths from my glowworm enclosures into the box. The isopods seem to like them. So, what did I do with those critters? The spiders get exiled for the crime of killing one of my glowworm females when I perched it on a piece of turtle vine. Ow. <laughs> the reproductive rate of the slugs had dropped down after a while, so I just fed them all to some of my glowworms. Penalty of death for the crime of being tasty snacks, I guess. The isopods I kept as an addition to my cleanup crew. And I even started some separate cultures of them. Look how they break down those sponge cloths. Nevertheless, here is some extra food to boost their numbers. <laughs> 